good to get the stops when it mattered most. But at the end of the day, you know, it wasn't enough. So we got to play a better whole game. Yeah, I mean, how do you look at this? You, do you guys find a way to surge back but end up just short? Now we're yeah. starting to get towards Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I mean, um, you know, it's definitely disappointing to come out with the L, man, especially how it went down. But at the end of the day, we're going to look forward and um, continue to play play ball. You know, we got, uh, what are the five more games left? Mm -hmm. And um, we got to put our best foot forward, you know. We, we put ourselves in a position that's going to be us to get out, get out of it. So uh, we just got to go back to work. What do you think is the like key to kind of keeping everybody having that mindset as we move through the practice week? I mean, I don't know if there's a key. I think if you're going to line up and be able to play on, on Sunday, you need to have that mindset. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you don't got it, then I mean, you know, you're in the wrong place. You know what I'm saying? So uh, as a competitor, you should want to put your best foot forward and uh, win games when you get to play them. And uh, so it shouldn't be too much hoorah, you know, and it um, should be easy um, for some want to to go back to work and get better. Hey, Grady, for the defense, uh uh, you know, um, those are some of the issues with the run game today. Our uh, game tackling, but look like. Yeah, uh, too many missed tackles. Half. I feel like um, I got to run, run back, see the film, mm -hmm. but maybe too much leaky yardage. You know, a couple, couple mush plays. I could have went the other way, and we just got to be more stout uh, across the whole, across the whole um, run defense. You know, whether it's D line, you know, linebackers, however it may be, we could just be better. You know, even myself. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we, we just um, got to review this tape and get better. In the bigger picture of things. You know, I mean, I can't lie and say it's not a missed opportunity because, I mean, it, it is. But at the end of the day, we still got life. We still got stuff ahead of us to, to be able to um, do and strive for. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, we went all the yeah, way to the end. We felt good about our chances yeah. coming into the, to this game. And uh, for it to go down how it did, definitely hurt and it's disappointing. But we got to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so we can't we can't um, sit here and soak in this for too long because we got to get back to work. It's, the, it's one of them losses where you want to get back, you know, on the field quick. You know what I'm saying? And get the taste out your mouth and be excited to play next week, so, um, yeah. so it, it kind of is what it is. I'm curious, is there ever a loss that doesn't feel like that? I mean, no, all losses are tough, you know, but I mean, being being the um, highest level professional football there is, you know, you can't win all of them, and, um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's like in life, you know, we don't, don't take, we don't plan to take L's, you know what I'm saying, we don't know when they're going to come, how they're going to come, but you got to be able to respond. No, it was a physical game, we knew it was going to be a physical game, and, uh, you know, two really good teams that are fighting for a spot in the playoffs, and you know, it was just one of those games, man. It was rainy. It was, it was, you know, really wet. You know, just a lot of things going on. And, uh, you know, you still got to get kudos to the commanders for, you know, playing full quarters. And, you know, it just, it was a situation where, you know, we could have won. But, you know, uh, we just got to be better at finish. They had the ball for just under 20 minutes of the second half. How tough is that? Yeah, it's tough, man. Um, you know, there's so many things that's going on during the game. It's, it's, it's you know, it's your way, then it's their way, then it's your way. It's just back and forth. And, you know, um, you know, a lot of times these games come down to the last possession. And, you know, they were able to do that. So, um, really, we just got to go back to the drawing board, man, and just continue to keep doing what we're doing, but just making sure that we finish games. You said a lot of times games can kind of come down to the last possession. For you guys, that's been almost every game. Every game. I, I think 10 yeah. out of 12. What's yeah. it been like? It's, it's been, man, it's been, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you, you, you fight, you're gritty um, all the way to the last snap. And, you know, uh, you know, you just try to make sure that you put yourself in a position to be able to win games. And, you know, we've always, for some reason this season, we've always been close to have that opportunity. And uh, we just haven't been as, uh, you know, as, as successful as, as, as much as we want to. So uh, we just know that we just got to be better at finishing. And in that way, it'll help us out um, on the back end of the season, uh, you know, for these next couple of games. I know you don't have the benefit of film yet, but what is the difference in a game like this one between winning and losing? In your yeah. eyes, what, where, what's that line? Yes, I mean, it's, it's a thin line, um, you know, just because of, you know, it's so close, you know, it, it's literally, it literally comes down to possession and that's what happens. So it's really hard to say whether or not you play bad or good. You know, it's a lot of good film. I know for sure that we're going to see, but, you know, it's just about just making sure that we don't shoot ourselves in the foot. I think that's the biggest thing. Run defense. You knew they were going to come in and run the mm -hmm. ball, but three weeks in a row teams have gone over 160 on you guys. Where do you think that part of the defense is right now? Mm -hmm. I think right now, just overall, I think we just, you know, uh, continue to just play better. Um, Get more effort, gain tackling, and uh, you know, putting ourselves in a better position to where we can continue to stop the run. So, uh, I think overall, you know, we just continue to keep better, get better each and every day for this back end of the season because that's that's where it counts, man. Uh, you know, especially right now going against these better teams, uh, you know, against for next week, you know, we're gonna have to be able to face another good running back uh, with Nigel Harris. So, uh, you know, we just got to make sure we sound defensively, just make sure that uh, we put ourselves in another position. Uh, you know, to be able to win another game. Last thing for you is, as the, one of the veteran leaders on this team, mm -hmm. there's a lot of time left in the season, but uh -huh. there's not a yeah. ton yeah. left. Yeah. 
Where, where do you go? What's your message to teammates? What do you guys need to do? I think right now it's, uh, you know, uh, we constantly talk about, you know, uh, bowing up. And what that means is, you know, kind of putting all your eggs in one basket and giving it all you got. Um, we know that we, we are a good team. We know we can win games. It's all about just, you know, like I said, man, that last possession. Uh, I think that's what is the difference from being a good team to a great team. And, uh, you know, I think now that we have an uh, opportunity to be able to learn from these losses and also learn from the wins, uh, it'll put help us, you know, go out for these next couple of games, man, and leave it all out there. So, um, you know, I'm not worried. I'm not, you know, panicking or anything like that. I think right now just it's all about, you know, just playing our best game and uh, believing in each other, uh, knowing that this thing is not over. You know, it's a lot more football to be played. And, um, you know, let's see what this thing looks like at the end of the season. Uh, it sucks, you know, uh, given the fact that we put so much, so much work into it and given the way that we lost the game, it sucks. We could have had uh, the chance at the end of that game to, to win the game. We didn't get to based off the penalty, but we're just going to bounce back and get back to work. How are you feeling? I know you're out for a minute in the first half. I don't know if I saw your return in the second half. You all right? Yeah, I'm doing well. I mean, just got to uh, get back to treatment, get my hand back and get my strength back. So go for me to attack we have next week and go from there. What were they able to do to be able to run the ball so well? Well, uh, I was nowadays for the most part, mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard to answer that question. So. Uh, do you, what do you, where do you feel like the run defense is at, I guess? Last three games, you know, 232 was the Panthers, then 160 the last one. These guys go for 170. I know you weren't out there for this one, but what do you guys need to work on in that area of the game? Well, I think it comes that comes down to being more physical than they are, uh, creating more knockback so we can allow our linebackers to come up and fill the open gap. So that's really what it comes down to. I don't think it's a scheme issue. It comes down to knockback and being more physical than they are. And having lost three of the last four, you guys still have some games left, but where do you guys need to go from here? Well, I just got to get back to the drawing board, get back to work. Uh, we have five games left. Uh, we we can't go out there and go on the run and win all five. So the, it's not over. We still have a lot left to, to accomplish. Jake Matthews to, to drive down inside the five-yard line, have it end the way it did. Just what's the emotion like? Uh, frustrated, there's no doubt. I mean, um, you know, we had all the confidence in the world. We are going to score right there and, and win the game, you know. But, you know, got to give them credit. They stopped us at the end. We didn't get it done. And, you know, it's frustrating for sure. A lot of guys are upset. They had the ball for almost 20 minutes of the second half. Just how tough is it for you guys as an offense? And, you know, you guys know it is for, on the defense, too, to have that kind of disparity. I mean, that, that's why it's a team sport, you know. They, they got to lean on us when that kind of stuff happens. We got to take advantage of opportunities and score. And, um, you know, we had a shot. Uh, we were down there. Like I said, I thought we were going to win it. And fortunately, the ball didn't go our way. So we, we got to step up as an offense there. I, I can kind of hear it in your voice. Just what's that frustration? Where is it coming from? You know, we, we expect to win. Um, we, we have a lot of pros on this team and guys that care a lot and, and, and work hard. And, um, you know, I, it's safe to say I can I think I can speak for everyone. I say we're very frustrated about it. And, um, you know, all we can do is bounce back and, you know, win next week. So it's a long year. Um, yeah, but this one, this one's frustrating. 12 games this year. I have it as 10 of them came down to the final possession or two. Just what's this season been like for you guys, even in the wins? Every single game, it seems, almost coming right down to the very, very end. I mean, that's kind of the NFL, you know. Mm -hmm. um, every team's really good. Um, anyone can win any given Sunday. So, you know, the, the good teams, the teams that, you know, make the playoffs and play well are the ones that can find ways to pull it out at the end. And, you know, unfortunately we didn't do that today. But, you know, but there's still a lot of football left to be played. So we got to correct this stuff and, and move on and get back to winning. Last thing for me, Jake, is, you know, there's still time left, but not a ton of time left in the season. As one of the leaders on the team, what's your message to your guys to, to turn things around down the stretch? Get back to work. Um, you know, control the things we can and, you know, next time we're in that situation, we'll, we'll learn from it. And, you know, I, I'm pretty confident we'll punch it in and, you know, be on the other side of this thing. So, um, you know, really just we, we don't need to reinvent the wheel or do something crazy. We, we, we just got to keep executing, fix the little things that, um, you know, stopped us today. And, um, you know, I think we'll be in good shape. It's a big swing in the game, but like, by no means is it something that, you know, like make or breaks our season. We're going to show up next week and, you know, play our butts off to, to try to win the next one. So it's not um, not one of those things that, like, you know, is the end all be all, but obviously you want it back. It's a key point, and you want to make those to, to win a game like that.
that end game situation? Will you stew over that? I mean, um, or do you flush it? I mean, is it easy to flush? Um, no, definitely not easy to flush. Um, yeah, I mean, we all certainly want to. Look, we want to finish that game. That's we had control. We're in the driver's seat, um, and we were able, we we want to end that game with a you know win, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll we'll stew over it as much as um, we can get better from it. And then once we've kind of gleaned whatever we can from it to improve, then move on to the next one. Offensive lineman by nature won't ever call to be a run call. When that <laughs> call, when that call comes in, are you thinking, yeah, I'd rather just run it here? No, that, that's not my job to even consider anything like that. We we have a lot of coaches that are really talented, watch a lot of film, more film than we do, and and know what to what to do, and we trust them 100. percent So whatever the call is, we're gonna we're gonna run it and execute it to the, our the best of our ability. So. Uh, what would that feel like for you guys to know that community can still deliver? Yeah, sure. I think um, I think that's probably our best drive, and I think um, really just having that. Just feeding off each other, feeding mm -hmm. off each other. You know, Hunt gets a good run. He starts it off, and then mm -hmm. I go in. CP goes in, pops a big one. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, shoot, just feeding off each other, and then just just doing what we can do, mm -hmm. just doing what we can do to help the team. What's the mindset of the team after you know you get down there to the two and did when they have to get across? Yeah, shoot, mindset's a score, but it's just unfortunate. Like, just a great play, great play. You end up tipping the ball, and then defense made a stop, and then just unfortunate, just unfortunate. With what happened on the punt, but we we fought, we fought. I think um, we were in a good, we we're in a good spot, but just came short. We'll learn from it. <laughs> um, and uh, so you know, uh, what do you sense the mood of the team is? Uh, I know it's tough after a loss. What do you say? What do you say the, mo the mood of the team. Yeah, shoot. Losing sucks. Losing sucks. I think that's probably the hardest. You know, we always we want to win. We want, especially in, in the spot that we're in. But I think um, we still have a great chance. Still had a great chance to do what we do. And I think um, with this team, it's just a resilient, resilient group. You know, we're always in the fight, even just those chances, those slim chances that we might be out. But then we end up still being in it. So I think. Um, just taking it, just taking it day by day. We know we're learning from the film, and then just get better onto the next week. You guys have played 12 games. Ten of them came down to the last possession or two. I mean, what, what's that been like? Every, I know it's the NFL, and that happens a lot. Yeah. But every single week, it seems like has just been so close. It's so insane. It's so insane, especially like a rookie coming in. It's just, it's so insane. It's just. Um, like we we are a good team, but in order to be a great team, just need to finish. But there's just a lot of, it's a great like you have great teams, great teams all over, mm -hmm. like good good teams all over. But then just the ones that end up just finishing, like whoever wants it more and stuff. But I think all of our effort is there. We just we just end up coming short. So with with five left, I mean, logic says probably a lot of those are going to come right down oh, to the yeah. end. Like you said, the good teams are there, the great teams finish. So how how do you guys finish when it's going to be close down the stretch here? Yeah, sure. I think. Um, all of our mindsets are wanting to finish and all that stuff, but I think um, just learning, learning from our, learning from our mistakes. You know, it's a blessing to come into work every day and stuff. So I think just learning from the mistakes and then um, just getting getting ready for the next week, having that mindset to get a dub.